Hello guys, this video where we talk about how to make overlapping columns in bar graph. In, in this technique, you want to compare two set of data. Usually they are the same type of data but at different point in time or different kind of values. For example, you have the you have five items. Okay, you have five items. Could be project, it could be product or anything, and you are spending money on them. So uh, the budget is the light gray columns, and the actual value is the blue column. You want to overlap this two set of column graph and bar graph to compare them. So uh, the technique are quite similar, but the the bar require a little more of the hacking and bar is actually preferable because when you use the bar graph you decrease the space it uses less space basically for example uh, in, in, in this technique you can even further reduce without any without losing the significance of the values so comparing to the columns it's, uh, it, take, it, it takes up a lot of space so uh, let's take a look at how we're going to do this this is the actual data, the actual data here, and the budgeted data here. Let's go with the easy one, which is the column. So highlight them all, and then just go to uh, cluster column. Now put it in the uh, nice location here. And what we're going to do next is we just put this into the secondary. Put one of the one of the uh, graph into the secondary. Uh, I'm going to click on the actual and then I'm going to change the chart type. Just click on the secondary axis and that's it. Now you're going to tweak the size or, or the, the, the thickness of the column. So uh, this is the budget which should be thicker and should be in light gray. So I'm going to do that. The gap width between columns should be decreased. Okay, so that the size of the column itself can get uh, bigger and we're going to change the we're going to change this orange one uh, well it look okay to me so i'm going to change this to the the appropriate action color which is blue and for the for the budget i'm going to change it to light gray like this now, uh, a few more things that we can enhance the graph. The first thing is that we don't really need this one, right? Because the, it, uh, the secondary and the primary share the same, uh, the same scale. So delete it out. And then the charge, uh, for the charge type, just make sure that you add something more meaningful here. Right, move to the left. And move to the left like this and then next thing that you can do is you can you can add the symbols to communicate with the audience that hey this is this is money so let's go down here and go to the number and go to the number and change from general to currency remove the decimal to zero and the last thing that could enhance this graph is click on this legend move it up so that it will be closer to the bar and the user or the reader wouldn't have to move their eye across down to the end then going back to look at the actual values okay so this is quite simple the overlapping columns now the overlapping bar is a little more challenging so let's try that highlight the whole thing again and then click on insert go to insert this time is the cluster bar I'm going to move it down here and uh, the first thing is you want to uh, reverse the order okay so I'm going to reverse the order of this because it should start from A not E right so click on reverse the order and then the next thing is you want to put one of the one of the groups into secondary so just click on that and then click on secondary now it's going to look kind of uh, wrong because if you look closely let me show you why i think this is wrong 
okay the orange one right this one is the uh, is for what for the actual bucket e right actual bucket e but the blue one is for bucket a so you can see that they're in reverse order so what we're going to do is we have to reverse the the order of this the secondary as well now how are we going to do that we have to add this uh the value first so that we can rearrange them so let's go to the chart design and then click on uh, click on the chart first the chart item so that we can add the item here and go to the axis and then add the secondary verticals so now you can see that they're in different uh, they're in the opposite direction click on it and then click on the axis option and then reverse the order right uh, and this look really weird but don't worry about it uh, something we could do which is now we can go to the uh, we can go to select this we can go to this scales okay the, the and you can see that there's something different look at the vertical axis crosses here for the uh, for the primary it said automatic for the secondary it said maximum axis value okay we're going to change that change it back to to the same setting which is automatic now it kind of overlap one another now so the next thing you want to do is you want to increase the actual say this is the actual uh oh, so, sorry you have to change the budget make it bigger so maybe 80 and then for the actual spending you have to increase the gap meaning you decrease the size of the bar so let's go to uh, 280 all right and this one changed to blue the same as the one on top this one changed to gray okay and uh, now you can see that you 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 have uh, twice the item that you required so you can take them off okay and then move this up here a little so that uh, it will be closer to the items Maybe here all right so uh, this is how you make both the uh, columns and the bar overlapping 